Okay, leaving Tewkesbury. I think the weather's going back to what it was when we arrived. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. UK weather, eh? Going to Portugal next year, we decided. <laughs> Lawn mowers are out as well, so yeah, he's trying to get his lawn mowing done. Yeah, starts again. Gonna run out of time there. Yeah, got to go left here. Yeah, yeah, three of them on lawn mowers. Oh yeah, just surrounded by lawn mowers. That uh, burst now. Trouble with it, a lot of grass pitches as well. Yeah, they've got to keep them. Yeah, fairly short. Right, so do we enjoy it here? Yeah, I did, yeah. very much, very yeah. much so. I really enjoyed going around the Abbey. Yeah, yeah. A cracking day out yesterday, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. Really nice weather in the end. Yeah, I mean, obviously it wasn't around here, but... Uh, no, no, but it's got but to it, it from here. Well, yeah, you, it's easy to get to the M50. Yeah. Nice, straight journey. So people, will people have seen the videos for that before we're yakking on now? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. If I do it so. in the right order, they will. <laughs> Yeah, so we're leaving here and we're going to Bath Chew Valley. Yeah. Adults only site. Caravan site, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a private site, uh, but it's a f you, you say it's affiliated. Yes, yes. So okay. there's uh, discounts, but I can't remember how much it was and I'll tell you later. I, I paid in, that's pay in advance for this one. Yeah. People here already. Yeah, it's 11.25. We're leaving a little bit later because we can't get into Bath Chu Valley uh, thing until two o'clock. Gotta put it in that box. Oh yeah. Yep. Bye, Bye. Then. These people are early, we're not late leaving because it's... Uh, <laughs> You're stressed out there. Yeah, 11.26. Yeah. Late for us. So. <laughs> In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Church Street. Yeah, so so. Heading towards the M5, I think you're fine. Oh, All right. A4 so. is closed. Switching to a new route. The what was closed? A4. Okay. There you go. So when I was asking, does it switch to a new route if there's traffic work? So yeah, it, it does. does. It was very easy to find again. I just put in Bath, went for UK club sites. Yeah. Bath, and it was the first one that came up. I think as far I got as far as BAT, and Turn it came right up. Onto Church Street, then enter the roundabout. I know faffing around with postcodes and all that. No. The great thing about it having all the campsites in there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. This will kill a bit of time, won't it? Yeah. They're still coming around the corner. Oh, they're going to have to wait. Yeah, OK. Yeah. So we switch the tyre pal monitoring system on. And uh, trouble. Let me turn around. Trouble I've been having with the tyre pal system, and obviously this is probably for the video with the tyre pal in it. Trouble I've been having with the, the tyre pal system is that you forget, certainly you know the one for the car that's in the in the motorhome at the moment. I forget to take it out of the motorhome and put it in the car. Yeah, although we did this morning, didn't we? Took it down to uh, Morrison's. Yeah. We went out in the car yesterday, and its own thing beeped at us, didn't it? Tire. Yesterday, yeah. Now the uh, the tire pressure monitoring system that's built into the car often has a habit of uh, setting an alarm when uh, you've been on the motorway for a while. So, yeah. Uh, because I forgot to take the TPMS, uh, the tire power one rather, I couldn't tell what the actual tire pressure was. No. 
And then we switched off and he reset it. Yeah. It never came back on. No, well, it? it's always doing that. It's always doing that. So. so you yeah. don't, it's pointless, really, because then, then you think, well, is it got a real problem or not? Well, that's right. I don't know <laughs> until you know, I've gone on a motorway and they uh, take the tyre pal with me. The other issue with the tyre pressure, with the tyre pal system, is it takes a while for it to start reading. Yeah, and we've been travelling for half a mile. Yeah. Sitting in the traffic at the moment, so I'm able Still, to film it. Oh, there we go. It's just, just come on. Yes, yeah, started with 29. Yeah, so the back, and now the, hold it there, keep it there. And now the front ones come on. It takes the time to wake them up, which is a little bit disconcerting because you don't really know if you've got a flat tire. <laughs> no. But I suppose it, I suppose they've got to go to sleep, otherwise the batteries will go flat, wouldn't they? You not turn them on before you move. No. no. Well, you, you could jack the car up and spin the wheels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't wanna> <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> oh, it was interesting, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's always interesting knowing what sort of vision is made for motor homes and caravans, if any. This looks like a fairly new one, isn't it? It is a fairly new one. Mm. Caravans up here. To the left. To the here. left, okay. Right. We're away from the HGVs, that's always a good thing. The question is, will the spots be long enough? Disabled, disabled one, ones. two disabled ones. I think we're going to go here. in this one. A4 yeah. is closed. Switching to a new route. And get it in here. Yeah, can't yeah, it's not in. bad, is it? It's no, uh, that's all right. It's a dog walk over there and a dog bin. No, all right. Should be required. Yeah. You can see a service area up there, isn't there? Yeah, not a bad little service station there, is it? No, it was good because you're well away from the trucks and some of the older ones you end up with all in the middle of all the trucks, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So no, good. that was good. A little dog walk there as well. Yeah. Looks like we probably could have gone in the fuel bit if you, you know, it's big enough. Yeah, and you've got not enough money. Not that he wanted money. to, yeah. Not, not that he would want to, but, but big enough. card ran out on my camera as well so fortunately I haven't filmed any of it. No, I don't think uh, and I don't think I've used it anyway. No. At the roundabout, take the third exit to A368. Yeah, 
Please stay in your vehicles and call reception on or use the contact point. That's where. Alright. Hiya. Um, if you follow me, we'll uh, pull you into the car park and then unhitch the car. Yeah. And then uh, when that's all done, we'll pick up the well, I can unhitch it first if you want. We'll do it in the car park. Alright. It's right. quite a busy day. Yeah. And if you're in there, I yeah. guarantee no one else will arrive. Right. Get the hell out here. I've had an email for the barrier key. From who? From here. I've had an email. Right. <laughs> the barrier key. Okay.
Alright. You can go back a bit more if you like. You've got about a foot and a half to the end of the pitch, but you're fine, I'm right. Yeah, jump in. <laughs> Okey dokey. Nice to reverse, man. This is one of the harder pitches to get over. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of practice. That one there is yeah. really nice because you get those ones when they're empty. You yeah. slot in. Go in. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's a little speech to listen to you first. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you've got a fully serviced pitch. Is that yeah. what you're expecting, right? Yeah. yeah. Okey dokey. Yeah. So you've got your TV, you've got your water, and you've got your electric point right there. Alright. Um, where do you know where I was kind of standing, um, waiting for you to come up? Okay? Yeah, that's the recycling point. Okay, but there is a waste and recycling point just on the other side of the caravan, right? Which is probably closer. Okay, um, yeah, you've got a grey water drain, uh, waste drain there, yeah, but you also have a drive over one on the, uh, in the, on the way where that Mark came out. Okay, with you. um, so where you were, um, uh, disconnecting your car, that's the main block, that's yeah. where the toilets are yeah. located, there's, the toilets are running but there's no showers at the moment. Right, okay. Um, the government guidelines does suggest you try and use your own facilities. Oh yeah, well, we're, do we're, we're doing anyway. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. We've got a utility room located in the main block which yeah. has sinks and uh, washer and dryer, okay. uh, coin operated, yeah. and there's two chemical loo disposal points, uh, one's right. in the main block, which yeah. kind of sticks out. And the other one is uh, yellow timber construction, which is a temporary one right. for social distancing. Okay. Okay. Um, so motorhomes, um, not to leave uh, that way because it's a bit too tight. So if you want to go out, just yeah. go back out from where you came. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, but you've got your car, to be fair. Um, there's information about the park in an email that you received after you checked yeah. online. Yeah, you got that. Yeah. And if yeah. you want any essentials like gas or Lou Blue, that is an online shop there. All right. And then okay. they'll come and deliver it up to you. All right. Okay. The reception is closed. Yeah. If you want to access reception, there's a silver um, call box. So you can go there morning, noon or night, or you can just ask anyone wearing black uniform. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so there's the barrier code, which will be emailed to you shortly. And the most important thing is when you come out of the site, be it in your small car or in this vehicle, yeah. you have to turn left. Yeah. Because like, there's a mandatory no right turn. Okay. Okay. Okay, because yep. yeah, locals get pretty... Nasty. Agitated, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of locals, I was raised here, so if you want any yeah. information about nice walks, decent yeah. pubs to eat at, or yeah, yeah. way down to the lake, feel free to ask. Okay. Other than that, um, enjoy your stay. Yeah, here we are. Bobby seems <laughs> to like it already. Yeah, let's go and have a wander around. We'll take Poppy's crate back to the car. You're not moving, you've got your... There's no trouble with this crate, isn't it? It's um, massive. She likes it though, she prefers a bit more space. But... Want to. Yep. Checking my mic's working, there it is. Yeah. Can I have a little Come on. Around. Come on. Back to the car. Come on. Yeah. Now we've had to park our car in the car park just here, coming up. Come on, and do you just, know? Just sort of out of the way. I don't think the cars are. Oh yeah, there's a there's a temporary chemical disposal. There's another one in that building over there. In the, in the reception. Tie that down later. Right. Yeah. Reception's over here. There are showers here, aren't there? But uh, they're not in use. I think they're like little mini bathrooms. So they've oh, got the showers, they've got the toilet, and they've got the basin yeah. in there. Yeah. But obviously, you can't use the showers. Can't use the showers, but you can use the toilets. So. Okay. There's a, a utility room as well. Now here's a chemical toilet emptying point. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Yep. And there's a, a one with a ramp for a wheelchair. Reception, we've not been in there, so it's closed to guests. We do sell colour here. Yeah, and that's the entrance in. Here's the... Look at this. Have you been here yet? Yeah, well, she had a little look. We'll have a proper walk around. 
Pops Parade. Wet paint. Sorry? Wet paint, it says. I don't yeah, know I, think it's, I think it's pretty dry now. Come on, come on. Yeah, but pretty impressed at the moment. Yeah, very nice. Right. Go, right, Pops. You can uh, it's all enclose so she can have a wonder. Oh, cool. All right. It goes all the way around. Up there as well. Yeah, this is all right, isn't it, Pops? Poppy would approve. Plenty yeah, of got smells. Another little gate at the other end. Yeah. Come on, then, Pops. Come on. Sniffing all the time. Come on. Hey. That's what she does. <laughs> a world of her own, isn't yeah. she? So, do we know how much and all that? Thirty pound a night. It was. I had to pay a deposit of one night when I booked. Yeah. Can't remember how long ago I booked. And then uh, about a month before they said I got to pay with seven days before. Okay. Because of this contactless check-in thing. Yeah. So it's all paid for. All before paid we... for. So it's about the same as uh, Tewsbury was. Yeah. Thirty pound a night. Yeah. We're fully serviced, don't we? We've got yeah. Water and uh, thingy. Yeah, water and electricity and drain drainage on the pitch. Yeah. Have you tried your hose and everything? Not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, let's keep Poppy busy for a bit. I mean, if you come in a caravan, you have to leave your car in the car park, don't you? Yeah. And they take your caravan to the pitch. I've seen videos of All right. people showing that. Okay. But obviously, with a motor at him, yeah. you, you take your own. <laughs> you like me reversing, didn't you? Yeah, he was quite impressed with that. <laughs> so, one of the more difficult pictures yeah, to get on. Yeah, it was, because there was like a. A board, a wooden yeah. board, one side. Yeah, yeah, so gold star to me. Yeah. After that journey as well, which was pretty <laughs> tiring. Was, wasn't it? Yeah. A little bin up here, Pops. Yeah, it'd be nice if you had something to put in it. Yeah, come on, Poppy. Mission achieved. <laughs> <laughs> even some bags there. Yeah, even a yeah, roll of uh, some bags water. in case you've forgotten it, and some water. I think it's a maximum of two dogs. What are per pitch? Yeah. Yeah. Not in the, not in the uh, thing. No, and she's not allowed on the woodland walk. No, you're not allowed in there, but you've got to go the other way anyway. Yeah. And where are we? I've lost. Oh, this is the bottom end of the camp site, isn't it? So there's another. So area where are down we there. then? We're further up there, aren't we? Are we? <laughs> yeah. Right. There's another area down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all sort of surrounded by trees and hedges, isn't it? So well, we're in there. We're just there, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Bins are here. Glass and general recycling, general waste. Someone pumping up their awning. I could test my GoPro's waterproof here, couldn't I? Except no, it's not, not with the mic on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very interesting, aren't they, Pops? <laughs> Very nice. Lost again now. <laughs> no, you're not lost. No. You are really. Yeah, we're over there. Came in there, didn't we? Yeah, came up there. Just up there. It's nice little uh, features, water mm. features. No fish in that one. No. Mm. A collection of swifts up here. Uh, 
There's a really shop and a post office, which I think we passed on the way in. Yeah. And I saw someone else had made a video about it, and they actually went in the shop. It's very, very okay. well equipped. All right. Yeah, and that says it's open from 8 to 8 every day. Yeah. Uh, simply return to the main road in the village, turn left to the village store, and yeah, and it's sort of there. It's a pay phone. You can put up a warnings, but said you might struggle a bit. Barbecues are permitted, but the unit must be at least 24 inches above the ground. Yeah, on the table, in other words. Yeah. Then it says um, internet and Wi Fi, you can use your own device to access information on the park and local attractions by logging into our Wi Fi network. It gives details of that. Uh, there's a laundry if you want to use it. Um, there's a utility room for dishwashing, clothes washing and an ironing board, there you go. It says in normal times, well-behaved dogs are welcome in the area of the Red Lion bar area in Bishop Sutton, which is 25 metre walk from the park. Yeah. Well, because you can't go in pubs, can you, still at the moment, on no. the date we're on. No. Uh, dogs are welcome also many of the other eateries. Mm -hmm. Full details can be found in our 10 pubs in 10 minutes guide available on the website. Okay. Yeah, um, it says dogs are welcome on most local park and ride buses okay. at the driver's discretion. Yeah. And it says also on their website, there's a number of local dog friendly walk. What's the mobile signal like? Mobile signal on, on mine is two, well, one bar at the moment, it's 4G. Okay. I think we're going to be struggling to upload Sunday's video. Are we? Yeah. Right, so because why? There's, well, there's no signal on uh, Vodafone. We're here for... Two nights. nights so, here. so we might be able to upload a video Sunday morning when we get to... Stover. Sorry? Stover. Stover. I thought we said Dover. <laughs> Stover. Well, we're not going that way, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Always we'll have to leave it uploading overnight. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's it for this video. Yeah. I think tomorrow it's going to be raining, isn't it? Right yeah, soon, right? yeah. 
so I will be editing some videos. I've got a bit of a backlog now. You have, yeah. I said I might. I volunteered to do Tewkesbury Abbey. Yeah. Okay. I can't do it in the evening. I get. Yeah. yeah I don't know. How you can. I just zonked by. Well, then. you can do it during the day. No, I'm watching. Uh, I'm, Line of Duty on ketchup, aren't oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Right. I'm yeah. on series two oh, now. I keep, yeah, I keep getting bits of that. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. I'm going to have a glass of wine now. Well, I've got one. You've moved it you further away. you want to pass away. it to you? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> All so right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, yeah. Talk to you soon. It's nice though, Morrison Chardonnay. Mm.